Hello, Internet. This is uh, Big Stiffy here. Uh, as you can see in front of me, I have a really tiny counter. Now, you may be wondering, is this red power? Yes. Is red power normally this tiny? No. I checked out a mod called Tiny Blocks. It allows you to place a uh, placemat, I guess you would call it, on any normal block, and any block you place on that uh, placemat will actually be a very, very tiny block. And if I recall correctly, um, 512 tiny blocks fit inside a regular block like this. And as you can see I have a little placemat here with a bunch of tiny chests. And the chests do work. You can go in and open any of them and store your inventory. This gives you so much more uh, storage space. Um, now, over here, uh, I'm not going to go over everything in the Tiny Blocks mod, I mean, this is, this is basically it, it makes blocks really tiny. Now, however, the Tiny Blocks mod has been updated so that it works with redstone and pistons. And I saw a few people making some uh, Tiny Blocks, or Tiny Redstone Circuits with this mod, so I wondered if the red power mod made by Elram would work with it as well, and to my surprise it did. Um, uh, there were a few bugs however, uh, as you can see here, this bundled cable, um, it's not supposed to be like this uh, normally. Um, the issue with tiny blocks was it made it so that uh, the bundled cable could not be placed in a straight line. Um, uh, let me see if I have any left over. I'll be able to show you. Um, oh, another thing. Another bug with using uh, red power with the tiny blocks mod. If you try to break any wires or any integrated circuits or any of these cells, um, you will lose that item forever. It will it'll just vanish. It would be like if you were destroying it with creative mode. Uh, if I were to destroy this uh, little block here in creative mode, it would just be gone forever. The same would apply with uh, red power stuff, as well as the uh, bundled cable. If I break any of it, it's just gone forever. I don't get it back. I have to make more of that item. So let me show you what happens when uh, you know I'll make it daytime. You know what? Uh, it's not that much easier to see, but uh, I'll show you anyway. This is bundle cable. It cannot be placed in a straight line in any direction. Um, uh, a weird thing about it though, you can place it on top of itself. So you can make a tower of bundled cable, and the same applies to just insulated cable. Uh, it's, it, it's weird, but you know, the mods, these two mods really weren't meant to be compatible, at least for the time being, so that's really no big surprise. Um, so the only way to get bundled cable to connect properly is to have it in some sort of setup like this it will connect around corners. Um, so I have all this bundled cable uh, connecting around corners in order to uh, connect my um, uh, light block display up to uh, this circuit here. It was quite a pain for me to figure that out, but you know, it works. Um, it works, that's really all that matters. Uh, see, with normal blocks, if you break them, 
he will actually get them back, but red power does not apply. Uh, actually, the only thing from red power that does apply is the, the light blocks. If you break the light blocks, you will get a light block back. Oh, one over here. It flew away. So, you do get those back. That's nice. So you don't have to keep spawning in more and more light blocks as you uh, mess up. So, this is a miniaturized version of my um, uh, counter circuit from my other videos. It's so much more compact. I mean, the other circuit, uh, with everything uh, added into it, um, Jeez, I don't even know how much space it took up. Oh dear. Um, it took up a great amount of space. I mean, this this little wolf square does not even cover half the space that it took up altogether. And the original design for the counter now fits in this uh, three by three area. I mean, that's it's just fantastic. I probably could have uh, made it. I could have probably made it two by two if I wanted to, but I didn't know how much space it would take up altogether. Um, another thing that I had a bit of a pain dealing with was, um, well, not so much a pain, but it was an inconvenience. The uh, screwdriver that. Uh, orients the direction for these uh, cells here as well as the direction for uh, integrated integrated redstone circuits uh, does not work um, again not too much of a surprise but it probably would have helped out a little bit with uh, putting that together um, this not so much it didn't really matter um, but yeah this is a binary decimal, binary coded decimal to, uh, well, binary coded decimal counter. Um, I'm going to change it to nighttime so this shows up a lot better. Um, when the switches are, when the le levers are pulled down, they're at zero. When they're pulled up, they're at one. Because that's how binary coded decimal works, it's ones and zeros, but only four digits. Four digit uh, binary coded decimal will go from zero to nine. So if I have three zeros and a one, it becomes one. If I go two zeros, a one, and a zero, that's two. Um, oh wait. Two zeros and two ones is three. Make those zeros. Make uh, make it zero, one, zero, zero. It's now four. Make it zero, one, zero, one. It becomes five. And I think you get the general idea. Six, seven, Eight and finally nine. If I wanted to go a step further, I could have added in my additions to this uh, counter and have just a single button increment or decrement the uh, number it has. Um, now this this uh, red power mod and. Uh, Tiny Blocks mod it is now compatible with uh, Minecraft 1.1. Oh, starting to rain again. So these are all up to date, and I figured I would just take a video of this and show it off because I really wasn't expecting this mod to work uh, with uh, Red Power. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it it's a very neat mod. Um, you can pre it pretty much expands 
uh, your ability to create um, very intricate things. Like, uh, I've already seen people make uh, small scale models of their uh, character in Minecraft. Uh, let's see, like, uh, right now I'm the default Steve texture. Um, another guy had his uh, character as uh, Luigi. Um, and he actually made a small scale model of his character, which uh, I think I think wasn't too much taller than his actual character. Maybe just uh, I'd say about three three to five tiny blocks higher than his actual character was. So it was it was very tiny, um, but. It just opened so many new doors, especially with uh, redstone circuitry. Um, I've seen people already create a uh, binary calculator with uh, redstone on tiny blocks. It was very cool, and I'd figured I'd just uh, redo my counter with the tiny blocks mod, since I found out that these two mods are slightly compatible. Um, one issue, one issue that, uh, took me a minute to figure out was, um, the insulated wires, well, uh, non-insulated wires, can, uh, do not connect to each other or to anything else on these, uh, tiny block placemats. Um, insulated wires did, however, ha uh, one issue I found out, though, was that... Uh, connect trying to connect these insulated wires to the uh, light blocks um, in this fashion did not work. I wasn't entirely sure why, but you know, like I keep saying, they weren't really made to be compatible with each other, so I guess that's just another bug. Um, I remedied that by using the advanced redstone repeaters um, since they can be placed on the underside or on the side of blocks uh, those those really solve that problem so it works fine um, but yeah this is this is a really amazing mod um, I think a lot more people should actually check it out and see what they can come up with with uh, tiny blocks, uh, whether it be just building scale models of their houses in Minecraft, or for like making a, I don't know, making like a scale model castle and then building it in um, real size, real size I guess, just bigger size. Um, uh, not too much I can really think of at the moment, but uh, considering that it does work with redstone circuits and uh, pistons, you can make a lot of really cool things. I mean, this is just an example of something you can make. I mean, uh, it might take you a while to do it with the red power mod because of the incompatibility issues. But redstone circuitry is good to go. Um, you'll you will have no problem with uh, just uh, vanilla redstone dust uh, repeaters and torches. Uh, the redstone torches do work, as you can see there. Um, I have redstone inverters. It's very cool. Check it out. Um, be sure to check out the uh, tiny block. Uh, creators websites I'm sure they can use uh, all the hits they can on their uh, home page uh, maybe maybe support their mod um, and I don't know I'm hoping uh, LRAM will actually see this video and see that her mod does work with uh, the tiny blocks mod and maybe some of the other 
people who make these uh, redstone circuits with uh, red power will uh, catch on and start making some of their own circuits uh, in a more condensed version. Um, now being that these circuits are so much smaller, I don't know if that will actually decrease lag on your world or not as they operate. Um, I really don't think it will decrease lag, uh, but you know, it does save so much space. Uh, and that's just fantastic. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is for this video. I just wanted to uh, show this off, uh, give a brief uh, demonstration of what tiny blocks can do. And I think I'll end the video here. So. Take care.